Havering Library services include 10 libraries in the borough and an online library. A school library service and housebound library service are on offer for Havering residents unable to visit their local library. Havering Libraries are also part of the London Libraries Consortium, providing access to over 150 libraries with over 6 million books with a Havering Library card. When I think of libraries, I think of warm, welcoming spaces. I think of places where people can meet and get together. I think of uh, lots of really interesting books that are all good quality and things that I really want to read. I think the three things that make a good library is they need to feel very comfortable, they need to be very busy and have a good range of stock. And We've got all of those. Amongst the Havering libraries, there are a number of free events taking place throughout the year that contribute to the health and well-being of local residents. Our health and well-being areas in our libraries are just small areas that contain lots of books, resources, leaflets, information about how to keep healthy. And we really push physical exercise, diet, being healthy and not being isolated. The libraries provide a full programme of children's and adults' activities, from baby bounces to zumba, cookery and health advisory services. Sometimes people say that libraries should be nice and quiet and lots of librarians are walking around shushing people, but that's just not how they are nowadays. We offer many, many um, different events and activities and sometimes the library um, can be very noisy, particularly with baby bounce and, and wiggle and giggle, but I believe that we have to um, offer these things to um, very young children from an early age because they are the future. Events such as Knit and Natter, community craft workshops, reading groups and swap shops provide residents with opportunities to meet, interact and engage with other local people, all at their local library. We've definitely got time for people to come and find quiet time, and for people to come and find activities and lots of people love coming in and seeing all the kids with their singing. We provide study space for young people, we provide teen zones for young people, we provide a huge amount of services for um, preschool children, um, we provide homework clubs, so we're trying to be accessible to all ages and all people at all times. Towns and communities are empowered by the sharing of a collective wealth of knowledge. Talks and courses with local historians and experts provide information about havering past communities, people and architecture and on a more personal level provide ancestry sessions helping havering residents identify the genealogy of their family's history. Local history collection will be really relevant to the people in the borough and it will really open up the collection. We've already digitised 40,000 images and it will be available to everybody. Throughout the year, the library is a central focus for the town, providing nourishment for the community. Social activities such as knit and natter groups, we have um, book groups, reading groups. Um, we also have a range of talks, we have author talks, so I think it, the library is really accessible to everybody of all age groups. Since I was a child, libraries have evolved. Whereas we used to go to the library in complete silence and choose your library books, they are now a centre of um, activity for the whole of the community. Um, they hold various activities here throughout the week and that for all members of the all members of society, um, for children, middle-aged people and elderly people. Um, our particular hobby is knitting. We meet here once a week and this is some of the produce that we have produced, some of the things we have produced for charity which is sold to raise money for various yeah, charities the within the area. The end of my needle, I took it. it and I took it off so when I was doing those smoothies. <laughs> Havering Library is at the forefront of learning and personal development. We do this by the provision of all our stock, our online resources and also some of the courses and activities we offer, such as courses about Tutankhamun, author talks, reading groups, knit and natter groups. I think for lots of people it tends to be a meeting place and because I often come in here and there's one or two gentlemen that are actually reading books or reading papers. 
for children, they have an awful lot of things going on for, for small children, reading sessions, um, which I think is, is fantastic. I'm playing Tigers with Rory to compete. For under twos, we do read and rhyme, where we do stories and, and sing songs. For the under fives, books and information through our website. For example, we've got online resources where children can gain access to information for their homework. Um, we offer study space and also we offer opportunities to students in the local area to do work experience with us so they can find out what it's like to work in a library and a lot of young people have also become volunteers for us and they've helped us during the summer holidays with our summer reading challenge. So she decided to do some cooking in the kitchen. Posey put on her apron and washed her hands. The, the songs, I, I sort of were introduced to the songs and then had to learn them for myself and then I shared this from the very first day with the willing children and they've all been very very great. I've introduced aspects of what I did with my own children into this group. I mean, my children are grown up now but um, yes, keeps, keeps me young. Yeah, we only stop for the summer holidays when we do the National Reading Scheme so so we, we do it every week of term time, and I do it regularly. Uh, it's seeing how a very shy child might come in for the first few sessions and how that child develops and uh, joins in and sort of stands their corner and has a great, great time. Best thing about libraries is the community living room aspect of it, all ages, from birth right to the aged. Kind of you fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? Right, Thomas, you're going to help me? He's got... Homework clubs in the libraries provide a supportive environment open to all young learners in the Havering Borough. Teeth in his terrible jaws. We do find a lot of parents come in and ask for the homework club, and I think um, it offers a good sort of like service because there's so much now that children have to do for the homework, and our volunteer Lois, who's, who's there doing it, is brilliant with the children, and they say the start of this term has gone really, really well, and hopefully it will carry on like that. So I think in the past 10 years, in the last 10 years, Haven Libraries has got a lot more to offer young people than they did before, because now they incorporate different groups of people who can come and meet different times. Um, the younger generation have some place to go during the school holidays, um, half-term holidays for secondary school pupils. They have a resource because not all children have the internet or laptops so they can come and use the uh, computers for free for up to two hours per day. The staff are more trained actually in helping with computers so if they need any resources they can search it out for them. But as well as searching them out they're actually teaching them at the same time how to look for resources for projects and topic work. And also it's a community. I think quite often a lot of young people can feel quite isolated and they come to the library, they might meet someone else from school and get chatting, whereas in school they're not chatting to each other, so they can actually start friendships up as well over a period of time. I think the Homework Club not only helps younger people in schools and outside school, but also offers opportunity for parents to develop their skills. So it's not all about just helping the child for homework, it's about helping the parent to help the child. Classes and workshops help provide residents with insight and information on a broad range of subjects, developing specific skills throughout the year. Beginner computer courses for adults are free and help library users access new technology at the libraries and beyond. Where all the libraries in Havering provide public computers with Wi-Fi connections with free access to the internet, the use of ICT could be the means with which to attract community residents who currently aren't using the libraries. 
By investing in the software that is too expensive or rare for most people to have on their personal computers, new programs would create opportunities for experienced technicians to provide tutorials. Uh, we run it on the Monday and Tuesday um, from 10 to 1. It is suited for everyone. Um, we get a range of customers and clients. Uh, we offer Microsoft Word packages, um, Office packages in general, uh, internet, email. We help set up email accounts. Um, we help them search the web. Anything they fancy, anything they want to do, we help them do it. We provide opportunities for people to come in and use our computer service so they can access um, the internet to search for jobs. Um, also they can do CV writing to help them find work. We have lots of online resources and we're really pushing those far more. So I think besides the books and the information of the traditional library, we're really out there and trying to meet the needs of today's people. You can just walk through the door and talk to us and we'll find the information for you. It's been fantastic. I have never ever been without a book from them. Invariably there's four or five waiting for me to pick up every time I come in. <laughs> the library is really important. Um, I mean to me the definition of a library is somewhere which collects, stores and processes information and knowledge and so I think it's, it's vital for everybody in the local community. My key aims for 2014 as Reader Development Manager are to ensure that we go out to all our non-users and just tell them that we're here, to ensure that people who do use us know exactly how many services we have so that they can access those, and also to deliver the Crossborough Literacy Strategy. I don't think there is anything that could be improved here, provided all the staff stay in place. and. I cannot think of one single thing that could be improved here. I really can't. Which makes them sound absolutely fantastic. And they haven't paid me, so... <laughs> the libraries are a valued community space. A space for sharing knowledge, for sharing learning, passions and engagement. And it is clear that it is the people who provide all of these opportunities. From the volunteers running clubs or providing support for others, the library users engaging with the extensive range of resources and opportunities, to the excellent staff providing the most valued and supportive customer service, making Havering Libraries the friendly and informative places the community has come to know and love. People of the Havering community know that their local library is their library.